The essence of the skin effect is that as the frequency increases, the current is forced out of the depths of the conductor to its surface. That is where the skin part of the name comes from. To technical context, the English word skin means the outer layer, the shell. The simplest parameter to describe the skin effect is the ratio of AC and DC cable resistances per unit of length, REC, RDC, depths at which the current density is in 1E times less than the surface is called skin depth. Here E is the base of natural logarithm and equals approximately 2.72. At lower frequency, the skin depth is much bigger than the radius, which means that the current is equal over the entire cross-section of the conductor. The skin effect may become noticeable when the ratio is much higher than the unity. We say may because it happens only when the sound changes obviously, and thus shows the increased resistance. For frequencies above 15 kHz, the REC RDC ratio is equal to 1.1 when using the solid wire gauge 15. In case of a stranded wire, we can't really speak about the specific value of the skin depth. Multiple interweavings and contacts between individual wires, which form the electroconductive strand, make it impossible to calculate an estimate of value accurately. To a lesser extent, skin effect influences stranded wires, in which each strand is covered with an insulating varnish. It has, it has lesser influence on lithium drought wire. This wire is used to make high Q inductance coils. In the case of such wires, it is in theoretically possible to calculate the exact surface area, which will be greater in comparison with a solid conductor with the same cross-sectional area. By the way, such wires in inductance calls the radio receivers, it has at high frequencies, are widely used mostly because of that small skin effect.